Hey, I have recently encountered one interesting task reading a book. Here's a visualization of some data. The task is quite common. You need to solve a classification task, but with one extra restriction. You have to separate this data with a single straight line. Feel free to pause the video and try to solve this. Afterward, I will show and explain the answer. First, evidently, we cannot achieve this using the current data representation. We need to change our coordinate system. If you are already familiar with the polar coordinate system, feel free to skip to the next part. Currently, we are using Cartesian coordinates where each point is represented with two numbers, x and y. For example, let's consider a point with x equal to 2 and y equal to 3. We can connect this point with the origin of coordinates, calling this distance r, short for radius, and the angle between the x-axis and the radius is phi. Do you see how a pair of x and y is related to a pair of r and phi? Well, the relation is straightforward. The cosine of phi equals x divided by r, and the sine of phi is equal to y divided by r. The latter implies the equations in the green box. Returning to our task, observe that our data consists of numerous circles with a bit of noise. Let's use an equation for a circle. Assuming the center of our circle is the same as the origin of our coordinate system, this equation looks like this. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, where r is the radius of the circle. However, if we use the Pythagorean theorem for a yellow triangle, we arrive at the equation in the orange box. The conclusion here is that if we draw a circle in Cartesian coordinates, we obtain a set of points with the same r coordinate in the polar system. The polar system is where the x axis is r and the y axis is phi. This is precisely why we should represent our data using polar coordinates. Let's do it and take a look at our data. Now we can easily separate this data using a single line. If you still have any questions, feel free to ask them. And if you found this helpful, consider following my channel. See you in the next video.